Coromandel Fishers. Sirojini Naidu, The Coromandel Fishers. Summary. This is a poem by Sirojini Naidu who was fondly known as the Nightingale of India. This poem is about the fishermen along the Coromandel coast who set out to sea on their boats early in the morning every day. The poet calls out to the fishermen to rise and to set off on their boats, taking with them the nets that will help them to do their day's work and bring back the fish they have caught in the first stanza. The poet writes from the point of view of one of the fishermen who asks his brothers to wake up as dawn descends on the land. During the night, the wind is blowing strongly over the sea. But as the day begins, the wind slows down and is quiet. Here, the poet compares the wind to a baby who has cried all night but is now lying quietly in his, her mother's arms. The fisherman, then, tells the others to gather their fishing nets and to push their wooden boats onto the big waves to set them onto the sea. The poet says that the fishermen are the kings of the sea since they spend their days navigating its waters and exploring its secret wealth. In the next stanza, the poet continues to use the voice of the fisherman. She entreats the men to set off on their journeys without delay and follow the voice of the sea gulls. The fishermen spend most of their lives on the sea and so it has taken the place of importance in their lives. The sea is like their mother, giving them their daily bread and being a source of comfort for them. The clouds are like their brothers and the waves are like their friends. They believe that the mythical god of the sea holds their lives in his hands and determines where they go and if they will safely return home. In the last stanza, the poet talks about the fishermen's love for the sea. The land where they live is beautiful with coconut trees providing them shade from the sun and mango groves providing them sweet scents and sweeter fruit. The beaches and the sand look beautiful in the light of the full moon and seem even more beautiful when the fishermen look at their loved ones. In spite of all these wonderful sights around them, they are happier when they are in their boats with the spray of seawater hitting their faces and the waves dashing against the hull. Life seems sweeter and happier on the sea where they can see nothing around and feel a sense of complete freedom. The poet concludes the poem by asking the fisherman to row towards the horizon, where it feels like they are on the edge of the world and the sky seems to meet the sea.